You know what? Lying ain't even always bad, people. That's right, I said it. Lying isn't always bad. Yeah, you know what? Many times it is. Let's get that out of the way before I continue. There are many kinds of destructive, hurtful, damaging, derogatory, and just plain wrong kinds of lies out there. And I'm pretty sure most of us out here have the ethics to determine what kind of lie is actually bad. Does it actually hurt somebody? Well then, you might want to not say it. But that is not what I'm talking about here. I'm not talking about these horribly dangerous lies or slander, that sort of thing. What I'm talking about here, to sum it up in the quintessential example, that one example everyone will know, is if your lady, guys, asks you if she looks fat in this, what's the answer? Yeah, no, of course you don't. I mean, there's a few people who say, yeah, I'd tell her. Really, would you? And if you would, I, I submit to you the idea that relationships can't stand total honesty. <laughs> total and complete honesty will destroy a relationship. And Oh, how can that be? You have to be honest with your spouse, right? No, no. Most of the time you do. 99% of the time you do. But there are the little white lies that move things along, that make things work and grease the wheels, if you will. The social lies, you know. Is my meal good? Well, you didn't like it that much, but you say you do. It moves things along and it, pre it prevents an unnecessary argument or hurting her feelings without any positive outcome. Maybe later you can tell her, hey, maybe you do this with the meal. You know, hey, try this out. And you guide her towards a you know, better cooking, just to use that example. But just saying, yeah, you suck. What does that do? What does that honesty do here? The truth is powerful, and it can be dangerous. Telling the unmitigated truth to someone who isn't ready for it may shock them, may cause them to go frantic or, you know, do something unexpected and perhaps dangerous to themselves. Well, are you trying to say that that's my responsibility? I mean, they should be able to handle the truth. Yes, it is your responsibility. Because it is your action that gives them the truth. You tell them the truth, you've taken responsibility for telling them the truth as it stands. It's not just a free-floating idea that you happen to pass to them. You gave it to them. You did it. You have some responsibility in there. Especially, like, if you find someone, you know, they don't know if their son's alright, and you just say, he died. Fuck you. You know, just... Yeah, that is terrible. That's horrible. It's true. Yeah, she deserves to know. Yes, but you know what? There's tact. There's reason. And there's simple responsibility that goes into having the truth. You don't just blurt some dangerous or hurtful truth out in front of company, you know. Someone slept with somebody else and you know about it, right? Do you wait until the dinner party to say, hey, she's cheating on you? No. If you have to say something, you bring it up in better times, in the proper place. I'm not saying that you always should lie about these things. I'm saying that at the very least, consider when and how you do tell the truth. And maybe tell a lie until then. Maybe cover up for it until then. That isn't wrong in that case, if you're protecting people to a point. You can't, of course, protect people from everything. The other side of the coin always applies. You can't hold back truths from people forever. And you can't just lie to them to protect them forever. Eventually they'll find out, and they'll probably resent you for trying that. But it comes down to simple moderation, common sense, and an understanding of how people will be affected by events. If you can look at someone and say, well, they don't need to hear that right this second, then they probably actually don't need to hear that right this second. Things can wait. Even the truth can wait. But the truth is like the most important thing ever. You, people need to know the truth. Well, the truth is very important, but we can't call it the most important thing ever. Would you value the truth over starvation? I mean, truth or food? I guarantee you they'll choose food over truth every time. If somehow it came to that, they'll choose food over truth. Well, no, I would prefer to have the truth or die. Would you? When you're starving, I'll ask you the question again. Until then, if you've never been starving and you've never had the choices handed out to you, it seems like the truth is really valuable, and in fact, more important than anything, this big shining truth here. But the truth takes a back seat to survival. The truth takes a back seat to living. It has to. Because we're alive and human, it's part of our nature to want to remain alive, and in the end, that is paramount. That is the ultimate truth of existence, is we want to keep existing. 
The truth can wait. Well, the truth can't wait when it comes to science. Perhaps not. Science is an interesting case when we talk about the truth, right? And in this case, I believe we should know the truth. If something does something or has an effect, and we're talking on a scientific, global, abstract level, tell the truth. Always tell it then. Global warming does this, we should know, even if we can't prevent it. However, let's take that example and twist it a bit. Let's say a meteor's coming towards Earth, and there's literally nothing we can do about it, right? It's going to blow up everyone, we're all going to die, 100% chance, the end. Well, perhaps it wouldn't be the best way to break it to people just by saying, we're all going to die in a week. Have fun, you know? There might be, again, that tact that comes into play where we hold back the full scope of the truth for a little bit of time, tell people this is happening, then build it up, let them acclimate so that there's not mass rioting and death. So wait a minute, in the context of science, you're saying the truth is really important, so in that case, we should release all the information about how to make all these super viruses and how to make dirty bombs and stuff, right? Well, where's the gain? Again, truth, when told, you should look at a gain here. The only thing I can see from making dirty bombs and viruses known to all is negative outcome. Yes, people will know a truth, but when that truth does nothing but harm people and there's literally no positivity for knowing it, like if you know how to make a dirty bomb, but you don't want to blow anyone up, what do you gain by knowing it? Nothing. Literally nothing. Because you know how to build something you will never use. The only thing that is gained by knowing this is destruction. Oh, well, you could potentially use this knowledge to counter it. And that knowledge is available to scientists and people who are interested in actively preventing this. That's who should know it in this case. The average person just knows how to build a nuke. Something bad is going to eventually happen, and I think we can all agree on this. So then what are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that the truth is very important, but that this must be mitigated by an understanding of the circumstances and people. We must understand human nature and how people should know the truth, but how they might not always be ready for it or prepared for the full consequences of that truth. We must know that the truth is powerful, especially when it's a truth about someone's relationship or a truth about science, perhaps, or something of that nature. Knowing someone's cheating on someone is powerful, depending on how you play that knowledge when you reveal it. Revealing it to cause harm is using the truth as a weapon, and I think that if there's anything I could call a sin being an atheist, it would be using the truth as a weapon against people. And that is the ultimate negative side to this whole idea that the truth is powerful and dangerous and should be minded, is that one can use the truth as a weapon against people, revealing certain, you know... Well, everybody has a secret, right? Everybody has secrets, things that you might not want people to know, and even if you don't, well, other people do. And... Yes, it's honest to reveal someone's secrets, isn't it? It's true. But that's horrible to do to someone. Just out their secrets in front of everyone, isn't it? It's horrible. It's using the truth as a weapon. And again, as someone who reveres science and honesty, I can't see anything more sinful, perhaps, in an intellectual level than using the truth as a weapon of harm. Bringing this all back to lying here, lying is wrong when it's done for harm. When you lie to protect someone for the immediacy, like if you lie to tell someone that their child isn't dead yet when it is, just to give them a little bit more time to be ready for when they do learn the truth, or maybe you tell a lie in some other fashion to help somebody in a small way. Well, the lie is good then, isn't it? It can have a bad outcome if you're caught lying, even if it was for a good reason. It can have a bad outcome. You can get blamed for lying, all that good stuff. But... The lie itself was not bad. The intention behind the lie was not bad. And if you're lying to protect someone from a harmful truth, at least for a time, then I can't see it being wrong. Lying to someone forever is always wrong. So, okay, so you're arrogantly saying that you should be the arbiter of when people should know the truth. You can call it arrogance. I call it responsibility. We all have a responsibility for one another in a primal sense. You have power over someone when you know a truth that could hurt them. You can't pretend that doesn't exist. You can't pretend the harm doesn't exist. And you have responsibility for how you deploy it. Sure, technically you can say that it isn't your responsibility, but that is an immature way of looking at it. Your actions will cause effects. You cannot deny this. Even something so simple as telling the truth to someone will cause potentially profound effects on the entirety of, the, of their life. And it's your responsibility. You told them. You didn't have to tell them, did you? 
you didn't have to tell them. That's the other thing that people will ignore in this equation. You didn't have to tell them, and you didn't have to tell them right then. When you choose and how you choose to say things or do things is almost as important as what you do or what you say. Just something to think about.